Black up on two. Q on. Miami and Notre Dame, how can they wait till 6.30 to play this I, game? I know. Ooh. Miami has been waiting, though, for, what, 364 Good days point. now after Ooh. that one-point loss. Uh, they've been playing, uh, or doing battle, I should say, for only a few years, but already this series is a hated war between the two. The loser of tonight's game has little chance for the national championship. Ken Tomash is live at the Orange Bowl, and Ken, I'm sure the uh, bowl reps don't want to hear this, but this is the game of the year. Absolutely. This may be the game of the decade. You know these two teams do not like each other. The forecast is for temperatures in the low 70s and about a 30% chance of rain. But if you've been here outside the Orange Bowl where they're getting ready, you can tell that there's a storm front coming. Hurricane warnings are in effect. Let me give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, shortly, a short time ago, before it got dark here at the Orange Bowl Stadium, everybody was milling around there. They expect maybe 80,000 people in this place tonight, which would break the all-time uh, Orange Bowl Miami home game record. And why not? This is the number one team in the nation, Notre Dame, against the number seven team in the nation, the uh, Miami no, Hurricanes. And this, uh, as you said, Don, this has great uh, implications for the national championship. If Notre Dame wins, they will definitely play Colorado, number two, for the national championship here in the Orange Bowl on New Year's night. If Miami wins, when they go to the Sugar Bowl to play Alabama, it throws the national championship picture all over the place. So we'll be back here at 11 o'clock with the post-game story from here. If I have to make a prediction, I know you didn't press me on it, but uh, I'll say uh, Notre Dame in a classic 21-20 to 20 over Miami tonight. I'll be back at 11. For now, this is Ken Tomash reporting live from the Orange Bowl. All right, Ken, uh, thanks very much. And